I got into Boy Scouts at a really young age, starting with Cub Scouts. I was a scout pretty much my entire childhood. Cub Scouts is more focused on just kind of like the beginning skills, kind of getting an idea of how to cook safely, how to be around fires, how to handle knives, um, you know, some basic first aid skills. As a Boy Scout, that's when you really get into the merit badges. There are certain required ones, and then there are certain kind of elective ones that are more for fun. The required ones, those focus more like, how does the government work, first aid, swimming, life-saving. Eagle Scout is the highest rank in Boy Scouts. For my Eagle Scout project, I took a, uh, a catalog of veterans in a certain cemetery in my town, and it was all just on paper, and I turned that into a digital file. And so that once I typed all those names in, where they were located. Um, we gave the digital file over to the American Legion. They have a copy of it, I have a copy of it. And then also we picked up the old markers that needed to be replaced and put down new markers. So when you go up to the stone, you can see, okay, this guy was a veteran, new marker, new flag. And um, every year the Boy Scout troop swaps out the flags. So going through Boy Scouts, you learn a lot about everything and a lot of that does carry on with you later in life first one definitely be leadership that's really what they want you to learn they want they want you to be a leader in some form self-sufficiency was a really big thing that i learned in the boy scouts and that's something that without a doubt has gone with me for the rest of my life um, how to handle situations how to control situations it's the leadership it's the self-sufficiency it's how to talk to people. You know, when you're a kid, when you're a Boy Scout, you have to talk to adults, and it's not easy to, but you know, you try, and, and then when you get into the Navy, you have to go up the chain of command, and if you, when you've been in long enough, you have to go down the chain of command. You know, those are all little life lessons that I picked up in Boy Scouts that have helped me a lot over the years. I think when my daughters are old enough, I'll definitely introduce them to Scouts. Um, hopefully I have a great troop in town that I can bring them over to and get them introduced and let them see what they think of it. So I do have some family still in Scouts. Um, my dad's still the troop leader, and also a couple towns away, my, my niece Audrey is in a Girl Scout troop, and she's a brownie. And then my sister also helps out with that troop as a leader. I think my niece is really enjoying it. You know, she is a very hands-on person, loves to learn, loves to read, loves to get her hands dirty. You know, she's really a well-rounded kid, and I think that, you know, Girl Scouts is perfect for her. Things that I hope, you know, Audrey takes away from the Scouts would just be you know, leadership, confidence, you know, thinking outside the box. Um, hopefully she takes some good communication skills away from it. You know, just solid, simple things. I just want people to know that Scouts is still out there. You know, there's still a lot of lessons to be learned and a lot of fun to be had. And uh, it doesn't hurt to seek out a local troop and see if you can join. I'm trying to think as I'm <laughs> oh, doing it. Oh, you don't know, do you? Good morning, guys. Hey. hey. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How's it How's it going? Going? So I got a really cool video from my sister. Um, my niece is a Girl Scout in a brownie troop. Oh, and wow. And they sent cool. over this video, and I think you guys want to take a look at this. Okay. Okay. Everyone in the family's in the oh, Scouts. look at that. Hi, this is house. Hi, Uncle Dave. Oh, oh my God. That's great. These are our garden beds. We built them a few years ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are in very rough shape. Yes, they yep. are. A few weeds there, too. Yeah, just a couple. They're, they're growing weeds like crazy. The wood's getting all splintery. Can you help us? Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, if there's a cry of help, that, that's one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's cuter than a bunch of brownies? I know. Oh, gotta help them out there. Jen is gardening, so it's kind of your thing. Well, I think that there could be new raised planter beds, Absolutely. maybe new wood. Maybe yep. they stay in the same footprint, but just dress it up a little bit. Absolutely. And look like there are some perennials amongst the weeds, so maybe we could reuse some of them or give the rest away to people. Okay. Um, but I think it needs something, yeah. like an accent piece. Accent like piece? Something we can build? And well, when I say we, kind of like something. <laughs> yes. When I say we, I mean, you know. <laughs> something like maybe for an herb garden. Well, I think about it, yeah. Yeah, pour it? Yeah, absolutely. So if you guys handle kind of what's there, you know, yeah. get the materials for what you need for what's there, maybe we think about something new. Does that work? Deal. All right, good. It works for me. I'm right. going to pay in cookies, right? I, I hope so. I love Girl Scout right. cookies. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.